So a new piece of work was unveiled on the London Underground and it's been claimed to be the artwork of a Banksy. So this new piece has since been removed violating TfL's graffiti regulations, but I don't think it was ever supposed to stay. The new work is a comment on the lockdown experience. It displays masks, rats, playfully and awkwardly as sort in their protective mask and a solar rat sits at the other end of the carriage spreading the coronavirus. Now the key words, I get locked down, but I get up again, a play on a 1997 song presents an upkeep of morale for the public during these really testing times. Now Banksy illustrates the importance of mask wearing and suggests again through his work the pasquinade of the government. Banksy used Instagram to document and preserve his message and in comparison to his previous work this didn't have as much finesse but it wasn't supposed to. It was quick as it had to be, it was bold and it was to create an impact. Now I've noticed a lot of artists are creating work in this lockdown period as a social commentary, not necessarily the work that they would normally create. So it's simply work that tells a story of the times and as this is unprecedented times, it equals value. So, who is Banksy? Banksy is an impressive and engaging artist. His work spans over two decades documenting graffiti and street art that comments upon politics, class intersections, satirical and strategically placed pictograms. And as we all know, there is always truth within satire and he plays on this. His work is located on walls, obscure settings and as of late his work has been mixed media and serves purpose to popular culture. Now, controversial topic of who he has been inspired by has been something that the graffiti culture has been querying for many years. He, he nicked the rats from Black the Rat from France. He was the original rat stenciler. So I thought Banksy the Rat. So everyone gets the connection with Black and Banksy. Oh, when I see Banksy making rats, of course, I see immediately where. It takes the idea. Now it's said and documented that he's been inspired by artist Belek Lerat, who's a French graffiti artist and the father of stencil graffiti. However, lots of people question whether it's stealing or inspiration. What do you think? His recent work was interactive and sent a shock value through the art world's spine as he commented upon the rapid movement of the art world. He shredded his piece of work live at an auction and this doubled the price of his work. Now his work is valued for millions. So I didn't really answer that question. Who is Banksy? I've been referring to Banksy as a he, but that's not something we're completely sure of. And it appears that that question is intentional because the truth is we still don't know. Throughout the period of his work, he has been anonymous and it's quite an oxymoron that his identity has become anonymity. Now it's been speculated that Banksy is a white British man or even that Banksy is a collective, but nothing has been confirmed to this date. So why has Banksy chosen anonymity? So the obvious answer, of course, is that street artists, more so graffiti, is mostly illegal and many countries have regulations on vandalism, which is a punishable crime. Now, some art and street art can be politically driven, which can be controversial. So anonymity is sometimes what's best. And at times the work is more provocative when the public doesn't know your next step. So in respect of Banksy's art, Banksy is an outlier. Now he's crossed the boundary between art that is for the street and art that is for the gallery. Now the value of his work is attached to his novice beginnings. So unveiling himself would dramatically depreciate his work. It would be of little to no value. Now whether you like or dislike Banksy's work or agree with the politics of it, you can't doubt that he does hold up the integrity of graffiti's history. And graffiti is anonymity to authority. And we can't doubt that that's what he's done. I do believe that Banksy has remained true to many artists' venture, which is to really look at the work for what it is. 
to subtract the artist from the art and to pay full attention, close attention to the details of the message. Hi, so Wendy's, where y'all from? So the project this week is to create a stenciled piece of work. Now I have some apps and also some videos that can help you with stencil making down below. So let's have a conversation about Banksy. What do you think about Banksy's work? Who do you think Banksy is? And most importantly, what do you think about the craft of graffiti? Ones that we lost, bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. To stay anonymous for over 20 years is pretty impressive. So let's have that conversation down below. I'll see you in the next one. Tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies, and these girls going wild.